I'm trying out, I'm, I use this Polar H10 um, hot monitor device for over two years now. And I think I've been like definitely um, determined that it's a fairly good device to be using for, for your heart monitoring and activity tracking. Um, I've been using it for both an Android uh, device with a Motorola and I'm more, most recently I've been using it for an iPhone Pro Max. Um, both connect very easily to Bluetooth connectivity. So I never have issues with connecting devices. Now the, the tracking the data varies slightly between the Android and the iPhone but it's it's neither of them are particularly um, have a better advantage than the other. It just seems like they just have specific uh, uh, profile they look for. But so the device itself is not an issue. Um, the issue where I kind of get most of is this strap. It doesn't hold well. I I was thinking like at least. 200 times, no more than 200 times, have I clipped on the device and then I would remove the device, I kind of like, like snap it off. And within that time, this the, uh, the mount kind of sheared off from this, uh, looked like to be like a rubber. Um, like a rubber mount or yeah restraint and it's kind of held back with this um, uh, metal black back plate right here uh, for the holder and it doesn't seem to do well for long duration um, now especially since the purpose is to constantly strapping and unstrapping it and it, and a question could be why just not leave it on there then if it's if it's possibly um, going to rip out just hold it on there well because the battery itself is actually a very um, low density battery and that it's not gonna it's not meant to be plugged in for the long term. It can definitely last you a few hundred hours, maybe a couple hundred hours. But to leave the battery or leave the device um, in the strap itself will drain the battery within a few days because it's it's constantly recording data, and that's how it indicates. That's how you turn off the device. Is you remove it. Uh, that's the only way. That's the only way you'd be depending on the device. Um, so to, when you have to constantly turn it off by removing it, and also to clean it, like you want to make sure you want to clean this device with mild soap and water, and also the strap itself with mild soap and water, so the bacteria don't build up um, on from the sweat. You kind of have to deal with the fact that you might sh tear this um, restraint off from the strap and it seemed like an easier concept to resolve that issue is to make this backplate have be a little bit lo larger so that when pulling away f when the device is getting pulled away you can hold down to the side of the of the tab of, a, of say a larger a larger um, back plate as if it was a tab just hold it on and then you can also pull it off so that you're not relying on the back plate to hold, be held back primarily just by this strap or this metal rubber which can tear easy looks like but at least has some additional um, restraint by you holding down the tab 
and pulling it out. Um, it seems like a simple modification because it looks like the tab it just fits in underneath and if they can make that a little bit longer I, I want to see why they couldn't just make it long, a little, uh, a little bigger uh, restraint so that it fits underneath the, the, the rubber so you can hold on to it when you pull it off but other than that it's a fairly good device um, especially for monitoring your activity and like your the overall uh, health uh, while during the activity it fits well it, the comfort of the device of the strap itself it's very comfortable it had this kind of uh, I'm not sure what kind of nylon I guess or um, like a, it seems like it's some kind of a soft fabric um, but it does it's very comfortable it not noticeable at all once you get in, into exercise and the only problem I have so far for after after having it for a couple years while riding a bike um, swimming um, running uh, even doing some weight training like including um, bench pressing because uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, you can feel that you can you can just tap the device and push it back up. So it's, even during um, bench pressing, you can wear the strap and it keep keep good track of your performance, so you can determine how to better improve your next um, next session next time. And actually, even my uh, trainer liked this feature because it helped them to maintain a good heart level. Or heart heart rate so that it, it they know that I'm in, in a good zone of performance and while I may not feel like I'm I'm overwhelmed but this heart monitor definitely gave me that peace of mind that I am in within the zone of activity at least within my level um, my current level yeah so I just kind of wish they had improved this uh, back plate by making me make it a bigger or perhaps maybe I'll post a hold on to this, this Borello rubber thing. I'm not sure. Maybe that's... Let me try that real quick. Okay. If I... No, because then I'm just... Again. I, I can't get I can get underneath this device. Practically, I can't get underneath that the device to hold down to that... Um, that uh, hold that restraint and I guess I can push a little bit on the side of this rubber but then I'm now I'm just adding more stress uh, horizontally to this little button here and uh, yeah the only way I think I can insist in pulling this off is by having like a little tab on the side so it can pull it while having a restraint. Now like I'm not sure how else you put to pull it off. I guess oh I, I have been pulling out this way. Maybe that's very weak point for it. I guess a way it would be pulling it out would be this way. And if I take a look at this device, uh, it looks like there's a tear along here, going this 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 direction. So there's a tear along this. There seems like a, a tear going along this direction. I guess if that was occurring, that means I'll be pulling it here in this direction because doing it that way will be. A, will cause that tear to occur along here. If it was a tear along here, then I could assume that it would be because I would I was pulling it like that. But perhaps that's how I supposed to pull it. Uh, maybe I should be pulling it this way instead of this way. Hmm. Yeah. 
I guess that could be the point. Maybe that's why I failed here. Alright, that's just my opinion about that. Thanks.